Ms. Barsetti. Certainly. Um, this was a tragic case of um, unlicensed operator, Ms. McFerrin, who on the first day of Arto Howley's uh, attendance at her daycare um, placed him in a car seat that had the padding removed. She left him in her bedroom unmonitored for about an hour. When she returned, he was lifeless. Uh, she ultimately called 911, but he was pronounced dead at the hospital. She was charged and pled guilty to criminal negligence causing death, and uh, the Crown sought two to three years jail. The defense counsel sought six to 12 months jail. Judge Stone reviewed the circumstances of the offense, reviewed all of the case law that was provided to him, and the set principles of sentencing, which particularly in this case include the uh, principles that when there is a vulnerable child involved, that denunciation and deterrence are the primary principles of sentencing. He imposed an 18-month jail sentence, so Ms. McFerrin went into custody today, and uh, the uh, family of the victim, uh, Ms. Howard, um, was, um, uh, you know, disappointed with that, uh, but um, uh, Judge Stone's sentencing covered all of the relevant principles and case law, and, uh, you know, uh, in his discretion, uh, made uh, a sentence which is within the range for this offense. Can you give us a better sense of that? So does this sentence send any sort of sense of precedent to those who may be operating daycares with more than two people? Uh, again, it's that's not the the sort of what the court is trying to address. Uh, this The court is sentencing Ms. McFerrin for her actions on that day. Obviously, uh, the hope is that uh, people will take this uh, into account when they're looking for daycare to make sure that they're looking for licensed daycares or that if it's unlicensed that they're not looking after uh, more children than they 